Hi, this is Dr. Dane Treat, and I'm at the American Medical Society of Sports Medicine Annual Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. And today I have a special guest, Dr. Jordan Metzl. He is with the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York. He's a primary care sports medicine. He also contributes to Triathlete Magazine, and he sees a lot of primary care sports medicine and treats endurance athletes. Thanks for talking to me today. No problem. Pleasure to be here. Okay. Now, in addition to being a physician and taking care of athletes, you're an athlete yourself. That's right. I'm d uh, have done 29 marathons and been the Ironman nine times. I think you've got to practice what you preach. So get off your butt and get going. Absolutely. That's awesome. What are some of the maybe the four or five most common injuries you see in running athletes? Sure. Well, running is a great sport for people to do. So if you're running, keep running. Uh, running injuries tend to be what we call overuse injuries, just from doing too much over time. And the most common things I see include things like an achy knee called runner's knee, shin splints or an achy shin on the inside part of the leg, uh, Achilles tendonitis, when the Achilles tendon gets mad at you and gets really sore in the back. I see a lot of hip problems uh, like trochanteric bursitis, an irritation on the outside part of your hip. And, uh, and then the last common running injury, I see a lot of back problems with runners, people that get like a bulging disc or a herniated disc or some muscle back pain. So that kind of goes through. Basically, running injuries happen from about the waist down, Kay. and they're annoying because they sideline you. Do, okay. do people who suffer from some of these injuries have to stop running? Not at all. So in sports medicine, we have a thing called relative rest. And as an athlete and as a doctor, I strongly believe in this. And that okay. is that if your knee hurts from running, bike or swim. Keep yourself moving every single day because your heart is a muscle too. And all the benefits you've really uh, obtained from running, if you just stop exercising, you're going to lose all those. So really try and keep yourself moving. What are some of the factors you see that you believe contribute? Well, first of all, in the training point of view, oftentimes they're not, they don't have a good training plan. So they're running too many miles. They're not uh, doing a good job listening to their bodies. There's things that they're doing wrong on the, on the brain side. On the body side, people make mistakes, including, number one, they're not strong enough. So people who don't have enough strength to run, you've got to be strong to run. So every time you run, you're jumping from one leg to the other. And if you don't have enough strength, you, you basically can get hurt. So strength or not having enough strength is a big difference. Flexibility uh, is kind of overrated. Not everybody needs to be maximally flexible all the time. Uh, but the deal of flexibility is uh, that, uh, you know, doing some stretching is helpful. Yoga, I love yoga for runners. So not being strong enough, not being flexible enough. And number three is their running mechanic. O oftentimes people overstride. They have these big, long strides. A shorter stride, higher turnover is much healthier for your running. Okay. Well, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it, and I know that the, the readers and the watchers also appreciate it. Pleasure. All right. Thank you. Okay. And be sure and check out Dr. Metzl's new book, The Athlete's Book of Home Remedies, available on Amazon.com.